Hi Shimmy Shakers, welcome to Belly Dancer Diaries and we have a really fun workout for you today. It's with our veils, working through our arms. So if you want to drill your veil technique to get really beautiful veil work and if you want to get stronger arms and have a bit of a workout as well, then this video is for you. Do it multiple times per week and I promise that you, you will feel the difference. Okay, starting off, let's warm up. Loosening up through our back, so really important to warm up always before any workout. That's gonna help us to move softer and also help prevent injury too. So just loosening up and then reaching up and over, getting some nice movement through the side of your body, through your feet as well. Good. And back to center, nice circles around, just loosening up through the center of your body. And other way. So we had our big belly dancing concert on Sunday. It was so much fun, it was really good. Opening up through your chest. There was so much joy in the room. We had it at a Lebanese restaurant. Reaching forward, the food was really good, the service was really good. And I felt as well that everyone's dancing just went up a notch. So reaching open and reach. So as you come through, getting that movement all the way through. We've been practicing for ages and ages, months. And then on the day, it was like everyone danced. The best that ever danced before it was amazing. A few more of these ones, really getting into that chest and arms. And then dropping your head down, nice slow circles around. If you've had a big day, if you have any tension in your neck, just hold it in the spots of tension for a little bit longer. And other way. And back to centre, reaching all the way up, getting a nice stretch all the way through here. And bend your knee to help you get into the stretch. And on the side, reaching through. And one side, then the other. Getting movement all the way through that side body, through the arms as well, of course. And then arching that back and reaching forward. So you want to feel the stretch all the way through here, which is a really nice one. I love this one. Especially if you've been sitting all day, this will help you to loosen up. And side to side. Good. Really reaching through. And then coming all the way down, little bend in your knees if you need, just swinging side to side. If you're super flexy, you can hold your elbows, so your hands under the way. And holding to one side. Another side. And back to centre, rolling all the way up. Let's just get some energy into our wrists. So circling those wrists. Nice and relaxed. Other way. We can bring a little hip slide into this one as well. Nice and soft. Okay, and shake it out. Let's get into our veil work. So I've got my trusty veil here, of course. This one's a circular veil, so if you have a circle, remember you always want to grab that top edge. To start fitting your veil, bringing the ends together in front, make sure you can reach all the way down and then opening up. Okay, to start, we're just getting some movement into our legs, into that veil, swishing across. Good. So nice, strong arms. Try and keep that front arm nice and long and try and keep that back arm nice and open. So not here, but open up. So this is good for our shoulder flexibility as well. Two more. And other side. Swoosh and back. So you can see I've got heaps of air in the veil here and that's really going to help us to look graceful but also to get those moves. Okay, let's go. Four, three, two, and one, and change. 
four, three, two, one, and front. So bringing your veil in front, however you like to bring your veil in front. Let's go, swoosh and back, swoosh and back, swoosh and back. So play around with this, you're trying to get the fabric up. And you can do a little flick with your wrist to get that fabric up higher. I love veils, aren't they beautiful? <laughs> this one's a very simple one. Other side, and in, up, and in, up, and in. But you can get some really lovely ones. This one is chiffon. It's a heavier chiffon. But if you get those beautiful silk veils, it always just looks so lovely. And side to side, we're coming one, two, one, two, one, using that wrist. Good, good, good. Okay, I'm bringing the veil back. We're coming into our windmills now. So starting with the hands nice and tall, we bring one arm down, other hand over, and in front, that arm in front, and over, a little faster, forward and around forward and around. So this one, practice both ways. Try and get the move one way first and then move into the other direction when we're ready. For this one as well, you can tell I'm flicking the wrist as I come across, that's when I flick to help get the veil around. Flick, flick, flick. Keep going. Should be your arms working a little bit at least now. And other way, we come down the other hand, arm around your head, back to center, this arm comes up, and to the back. Let's go again, down, around, up and over, down, around, up and over, up to speed. So again, I'm flicking those wrists across. If you can tell, this way it's a little harder for me. There's always one way that's easier than the other, but always good to practice both sides. Especially if you're going to be doing choreography, you never know which way everyone else would like to move. So be really careful with this one. As you're coming around, try and keep your posture up nice and straight. Still working strong. Doing really well. Two more. Okay, this time we're going one side, then the other. So down and around, down and around, down and around, down, and around. We're reaching those arms tall at the top. Oh, this has to be one of my favorite moves. <laughs> Are you feeling your arms working? You can add some foot movement in as well if you like. A little forward and back step. Good. Good. Nearly there. And last one, nice work. This time we're coming up and down. Up and down. Up and down. So from the side, you can see, keeping my posture tall, working through those wrists as well. Get that height in the veil. Stay with it. Keep those arms strong, keep breathing as well. And just let the veil fall. You can see when I'm coming up, I'm using energy. When I come down, I'm letting the veil fall before my hands. So I'm not, and then just pulling it down, I'm up, let it fall. Up, let it fall. If you have a really light veil, you might need to go slower to get that beautiful falling. Okay, next time, we're coming over and back. Over and forward. Over and back. Over and forward. So we open up to the back. We reach over to the front. Yeah, we can do an open to the front as well. This one's a lot easier from the side. And as you swoosh, you want to try and bring those hands together so that you can get it over your head. It's a lot harder getting it over your head this way. See? <laughs> Then when you have your hands together. When you have your hands together, you're gonna to have more control of that veil to get it over and back. Good work, nearly there. Am I getting tangled? 
Yes. <laughs> okay, reset if you need to. Few more. My hair's getting static with this veil. <laughs> okay, shake it out. Next, we're working through our walks. So, just holding onto your veil again. Make sure you're grabbing the ends nice and long. Coming up nice and tall. Walking around the room. Now, let's try and get some air into it. You have a lot of space. This one's for you. Reaching those hands up nice and tall. And from here, we're coming down and up. So again, same principle as before. You are letting that veil fall, but you're using energy to get it up. Up and fall, up and fall, up and fall. So if you want to work a little bit harder in this workout, I recommend you try and use a heavier veil. Even if you've got one with beading on it, that's going to work you out a little bit more. Still looks super graceful. Stay with it. And bring it to the front. We're coming up and down, up and down. For this one, I'm just bringing my arms out to the side. And again, letting it fall. Energy up, fall down. Energy up, fall down. Keep going, doing really well. Good, good, good. And shake it out, veil comes behind. We're getting into some arabesques. So arabesques, we start tall, and then we step. Three, two, one. One arm comes down, other one up. Let's speed it up. Three, two, one, up. Three, two, one, up. Again, if you have lots of space, use it for this one. Really trying to straighten that back leg as you come back. Nice and strong. Keep those arms working. If you feel the arms getting a little hotter, that's good. It means muscles are switching on. They're working strong. Next time, both arms. Step, 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 up, step, 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 up. This one's really hard in this room. <laughs> Hopefully you've got more space than me. And that centre, shake it out. Okay, into our butterflies now. So our butterflies, we're bringing the bow up. We're stepping in as we walk forward. So let's try it to the side. We're coming up, open and step in and open. Good to open your shoulders through this one because you'll get more air in the veil and you'll be able to get that movement better. So up, walk back, walk in. Up, walk back, walk in. Up, walk back, walk in. Up, walk back. Missed that one. <laughs> Going again. Up, walk back, walk in. Up, walk back, Walk in, this is a lot nicer with softer veils, this one. Let me just untangle myself. And from the top, up, walk back, walk in. Up, walk back, walk in, you're catching that veil. Up, walk back, and in. Up, walk back, and in. Up, walk back, and in. Up. Walk back and in, two more. Up, walk back and in. Up, walk back and in. Nice work, little shake out. Okay, we're nearly there. This time, we're bringing our hands up nice and tall, coming into a turn. So a little pivot turn. I'm just gonna move this carpet forward a bit. <laughs> I know that I'm going to get spun on it otherwise. Hands up nice and tall, coming into a pivot turn. Sorry about the squeakiness of my feet. And then coming down. And up. And let's go the other way. Turn. 
So you can spot a point in front of you, especially if you're finding you're getting dizzy. Try and keep those arms up. And arms down. Nice and strong. Still keeping energy in your arms. Nice. Okay, shake it out. A little swishes through. So swoosh and swoosh. Let me just get this mat back. So coming through, swoosh and swoosh. So open and in front. Let's bring the veil in front. Swoosh and open. 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 Again, letting it fall down, but flicking up to the front. So you can use the veil in many, many different ways throughout your performance. And of course, you can have the veil as the center of the performance, the center of the move. Or you can do another move while you're doing the veil and to the front. Nice work. Okay, shake it out. This time into our framing, beautiful snake arms around. So if you need to, just give yourself a little stretch before we do this one. Then bring your arms out. We're rolling through one shoulder, rolling through the other using the energy in that veil to come across. Swoosh, 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 swoosh. I'm holding this one a bit short. Feeling it three shoulders. And a little lean, lean, lean. So as I lean, I'm shifting through with my torso. I'm also dropping that head. Lean, 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 lean. And to get more air in the veil, you can drop the other arm. Go down, over, 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 over. Good, good. Nearly there, keep it strong. Good. Okay, and final move for our veil. This is our Turkish drop. It's a really great one but I'm gonna teach you how to do it safely. So for this, we're gonna bring the veil, the two points that you normally hold into one hand. So if you're doing your choreography or your performance, you can bring your hands in front, sneakily hold it in one hand, and then we're coming back. You can also do it with the other hand, coming back and then hold. I like it dropping the hand that the veil's into the floor. So for this one, keep your feet a little wider. We're bringing one hand up, other hand follows, we're bending the knees. Turning to the front, really important to turn to the front, otherwise there's a lot of pressure on your lower back. So turn to the front and gently come down. Start it really, really slowly. I don't want you to hurt yourself, so go really slow with this one. And then once you've done it a few times slow, feel it working through your legs, and then you can speed it up. Okay, let's have a little practice of this one. So you can practice both arms, holding the veil. Let's go. Down and up. Down and up. Down. So you'd only really do this one coming down. But just to practice, we're getting up as well. That other hand is helping center us through. But you can also keep it out of the way if you like. I find it's better balance going this way. Just a couple more. Nearly there. And last one, and release. Well done, everyone. Let's have a little stretch. Doubling your veil over. You can roll it up, or you can keep it straight, especially if you've got a nice one you don't want to get crushed. Bring those arms over, feeling a really nice stretch all the way through the front of your shoulders. If you're not very flexible, like me, you can bring it a little wider and then try and come all the way back. And then open up. Trying to keep those arms straight. This is now a bit short for me here. <laughs> open through, open back. Getting a nice stretch through those arms, through those shoulders. And then coming back when you feel that stretch, just holding it there, releasing through. Good job. 
Hope you felt your arms working. Hope you had some fun with your bail. And then just reaching all the way forward, bending your knees, letting those arms hang. Dropping your head, letting your neck release, shaking it out. And then rolling all the way up. Just bringing one arm in front. Feeling the stretch through your bicep. So if you've got a performance with fails coming up, if you do, let me know. Hopefully someone can take a video, I'd love to see it. Bringing the other arm over at our recent concert as well. Lots of people dancing solos decide to dance with veils. We haven't done that much veils in class, it looks so beautiful. And everyone had their own interpretations. Bring that arm over, feeling the stretch through your triceps, through here. So it was nice to see everyone's different interpretations of the music of the song. Try and keep your head up if you need to for this one. You can lean away from that arm stretching to deepen the stretch. And back to centre, on side. So I know I'll usually use props if I have a longer set. So I just want to create a little bit of difference between my repertoire and bring that arm over, head up, feeling it through here, and leaning over. And back to centre, reaching through, getting a really nice stretch through your shoulders. So leaning forward with your back. And opening up, really nice stretch through your chest. This one's a good one if you've been sitting down all day as well. Feel that release through the front of your body and come down, head to one side, opposite shoulder down. And if you need more, just use the weight of your hand. So you're not pushing your head down, you're just using the weight of the hand. And back to center, other side. Using the weight of your hand if you need to, to feel the stretch, feeling it through here. And back to centre, dropping your head straight down, adding pressure if you need it. Again, weight of your hands, feeling it through the back of your neck. And back to centre, chin to the ceiling, keeping your mouth closed, feeling the stretch through the front of your neck. And back to centre, shake it out. Awesome work, everyone. Thanks for working out with me today. Any questions, please write them in the comments below. I've also got another workout if you want to practice lots of different moves, not just with your arms, but more with your hips and your legs too. Um, I'll link the playlist to that. Oh, here, I can link that here, yep. And as always, happy dancing.